So reply to star question 30, sir, A. So the total production of betel nut in the state during the last four years, calculated in area, production, and average yield. Area in hectares, production in MT, and average yield in kgs. 2019 to 20, area in hectares is 18,231. Production in metric ton, is 24,032. The average yield in kgs is 1,318. In 2021, area in hectares, 18,242. Production in metric ton, 24,059. The average yield in kgs is 1,319. 2021-22, areas in hectares, 19,984. Production in metric ton is 28,390. Average yield in kgs is 1,421. 22-23, areas in hectares is 34,410. Production in metric ton is 51,650. The average yield in kgs is 1,501. B, sir, the total economy it brings to the state year-wise. Sir, 2019-20, 173.3 crores. 20-21, 235.65 crores, 21 to 22, 203.30 crores, 22 to 23, 382.22 crores. C, sir? Yes, sir. D, sir? A, 46 processing units consisting of worksheds, the husking machines, solar tunnel dryers and soap pits are being set up across 21 blocks in 10 district. Total cost of these is 14.06 crores. 32 units have been completed and the remaining 12 units will be completed in the coming months. B, sir, 10 lakh interest-free working capital loan for aggregation and marketing of Arica Nut has been given to each of the 46 cooperatives. E, sir. Yes, sir. The department is aware of the incidence of butt rot disease in some areas of the state. F, sir. A. In 21-22, planting material for short gestation crops like bananas and apples were given to 3,581 farmers whose arica nut plantation has been affected by butt rot. B, the same will be continued this year. An additional interest-free working capital loan will also be given. <coughs> C, spraying of Brodox mixture will also be undertaken to prevent spread of butt rot, sir. Sir, Emily, please. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. We have seen in the reply at A that the area of cultivation of areca nut is increasing. From 18,231 hectare, now it reached 34,410 uh, hectare. And the production is also subsequently increased and the economy to, it brings to the state also increased. From this, it reflects that the people of the state, they are going uh, into Arica cultivation in a big way. So, but the price of Arica nut is coming down year by year, sir. So what I request, with all this uh, thing which the government is incentivizing the farmer, that uh, the marketing facilities, not only in the state, 
promote the Arakanat produce in the state, whether the government have any plan to uh, help the farmer market the Arakanat not only in the state, outside the state, sir. Honorable Speaker, sir, it is correct that there seems to be indicators that there has been a surge or an increase in the production of Aragonet in the state of Meghalaya. However, this data, sir, may be viewed from a perspective that in all likelihood, sir, in the earlier years, there have been weak application of data collection. So we see now that after the Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has in increased its research facilities, we are now able to give a better data information about the growing of Arikanat in and around the state of Meghalaya. Number two, sir, it is a fact that Arikanat growing is very productive and progressive for farmers in the state of Meghalaya. And in order to ensure that the department utilizes all this data effectively, we have placed certain interventions to further assist farmers in growing of Arikanat, marketing of Arikanat, Arikanat plantation, sir. Honorable member is correct, sir. Government now is trying to ensure that it assists farmers growing Arikanat in various ways. One, sir, is the institutioning of farmer cooperatives so that farms or farmers engaged in Arikanat growing collectively connect together and have common facilities in various parts of the state, sir. We now have about 46 such farmer cooperatives and these cooperatives, sir, are being assisted in several ways. We give them various opportunities for the stocking of Arikanat because the shelf life of Arikanat is also very short. <coughs> so we have also assisted farmers in creation of hubs where we have provided these cooperatives with sheds where they can store, stock, dry, and peel these arikanuts. So we are also looking at those incentives. We also provide cooperative societies with one-time financial incentives. Some of them have zero, uh, zero uh, b b interest. Some of them obviously have to be repaid back in form of soft loans. We are also trying to ensure that farmers understand the value of marketing and timely interventions like fairs for farmers, exposure trips for farmers. We are also uh, assisting farmers in ensuring that we provide machineries for them, we provide pits for them because farmers growing arecanut differ in terms of utility of use of these produce. <coughs> in the Khasi region, they prefer to, to, to provide, to give them soap pits where they can then domestically within the country uh, market the arecanut. And yes, sir, what the honorable member has suggested is very important. Department is investing substantial amounts to help farmers 
There are huge numbers of interventions. We have working capitals. Say, for example, uh, we have uh, about 36 crores that we provide to these farmers in various interventions, from warehouse, in, uh, from warehouse uh, facilities to collective market centers. Then we also have crime hubs where we allow these farmers to, to, to get together and to, to sell their produce. I also feel that it is important for us at this point of time to inform the honorable member and other members who may have heard uh, farmers coming from various parts of the state that we are also assisting farmers with the necessary intervention of the required chemical like Bordox to help them to, 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 to combat this, this uh, dreaded disease of blood rot. And so we are not just working alone. We are also collaborating with all the agricultural experts, both from the central government, the state government. And I want to assure the honorable member that the question that he has raised is very important and pertinent. And yes, we are going to leave no stone unturned to ensure that Arikanat becomes a prime uh, produce of the state of Meghali. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, for the Honorable Minister to, to have uh, replied extensively for the benefit of enlighten us as the member, moreover, enlighten the farmer of the state, the intervention of the state government in promoting and helping the farmer. However, uh, at this point of time, the farmer of uh, Arikanat all over the state, they are in distress. Distress in the sense that the price of Arikanat per hundred numbers is half from what it is last year. So this caused a big loss to the farmer of the state. That means the income, uh, due the production is more, but their income is less. So I earnestly request the government to see that to tie up with the marketing facilities, uh, people so that uh, the price of the Arikanat will not come down that much. As I said yesterday regarding from sir, in Arikanat also it is better for the government to come up with the minimum support price. Because as per the government of India Ministry of Tribal Affairs, uh, Arikanat is uh, forest produce, uh, minor forest produce and the government of India has fixed, uh, if I remember correctly, in 2020, there is a notification of the government of India, uh, Ministry of Tribal Affairs, TriFed, that the price of the minimum support price of Arikanat per kg is 200 rupees, uh, 200 rupees per kg. Will the government consider looking at the distress of the farmer to come up with the minimum support price for Arikanat, sir? The point is noted and uh, we will examine this matter and of course Arikanat sir as you know is not in the government of India list. So Honorable Chief Minister from time to time is engaging with officers to find out a way to make sure that the distress that farmers feel should not be a concern in the state of Meghalaya. But I reiterate, we are assisting substantial numbers of farms to such farmers, not just of Arikanat, but all of the other producers of the state of Meghalaya. We used to earlier on get schemes from the government of India, Honorable Speaker, sir. The Mission Integrated Development for Horticulture did have a huge focus for such situations of farmers in Arikanat. However, because of unavoidable circumstances where Arikanat now is considered not healthy for the public, so we are, we are finding some compromise on our ability to assist these farmers. However, Honorable Chief Minister, in his wisdom, 
along with the officers of the departments are, are finding ways and means to substantially support these farmers because we understand that this is an indigenous crop of the state of Meghalaya. We will not act at any point in any given situations keeping in mind that we have to protect the interests of the farmers, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to differ with the Honourable Minister regarding the Arikanot is not in the list of the government of India. Because as per the Press Information Bureau uh, of MOTA dated 29 May 2020, it is clearly mentioned that the minimum support price for Arikanot slash Beetlenut is uh, 200 rupees per kg. So I request that uh, to look into it so that uh, we could help the farmer in whatever way possible. And number two, sir, uh, that uh, yes, uh, whatever the Honorable Minister said that uh, it is not healthy, sir, it is, uh, as she rightly pointed out, is our indigenous we have living with little not arika not for a long time so since we have seen the economy the farmer depend on arika not we request to look it as uh, the livelihood of people and to market this as much as possible for the benefit of the farmer so suggestions of the honorable member are being noted and we will see what needs to further get done and uh, I will find out and I will engage actively with the Honourable Member or any other member who feels that we need to work on this and ensure that we protect the livelihoods of our farmers, which, by the way, we are committed to the hint. Mr. Sir, Mr. Speaker, sir, I'd just like to supplement uh, what the Honourable Minister <laughs> has replied. Uh, that, sir, the uh, reference to the aspect of uh, Erika Nutt not being in the list of government of India uh, is actually from the uh, government of India, but from the MIDH, which is the uh, horticulture schemes that were there. And hence, from that list, it has been removed. Regarding the uh, concerns of the honorable member for the uh, support price, MSP, we'll definitely get the matter examined, sir. And also, just to share with the House, sir, the uh, value of processed um, Erika Nutt sells at almost 10 times the price. So today, Erika Nutt uh, is a uh, process, Erika Nutt is selling at over 400 to almost 500 rupees per kg. And that's the reason we realize that the way forward is actually processing, which the Honorable Minister has just clarified. We will continue to expand this, and value addition is the only and the right way to move forward. And I also would like to clarify that uh, when Honorable Minister mentioned about health concerns, it is what the government of India has informed us, and based on that, they have taken the decision. So, from our side, sir, we have been always of the opinion that this is an indigenous product, and thousands of farmers are dependent on it, and therefore it is our duty as a state government to support. We will continue supporting in whatever way possible, and more importantly, we will keep augmenting in different ways so that they can have more products apart from Erika Nutt, like, for example, mixing of black pepper and arika nut has become a very, very viable option. Like that, we will continue to expand into other products uh, and at the same time continue to support the farmers in whatever way that we can. So, Speaker, sir, yes. I'm very thankful to Honourable Chief Minister and the government for whatever they have done for the benefit of the farmer, moreover for understanding that the uh, the uh, Arikanut plantation is important to the farm of the state. Having said that, I will request the government, the Honorable Chief Minister, to consider that setting up of the processing unit of the Arikanut in Amlarem area, because Amlarem area is uh, very, very uh, important in Arikanut uh, production in the state, sir. You want to reply? You can reply. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. Speaker, sir, that uh, out of the 46 units that have been put up, uh, two are in, uh, in Amlarem yeah. as of now, two of yeah. them, uh, and about close to 41 lakhs 
of uh, investment has already been done. So about one crore has been done already in Amlarem, but definitely seeing the plantation and the amount of thing there and the obviously concerns of the honorable member, uh, we will definitely ensure that we expand it and help more and more groups. Renik, please. Sir, <coughs> we understand and we have no doubt that growing of metal nut in Mekhalaya, it's growing and increasing everywhere, sir, especially in the border. Uh, my point I want to know from the Honorable Minister, whether Aragonut is there in the list of export as an export item that can be exported uh, outside India, and if it's not there, whether the government will take initiative to include Aragonut in the list of export. Honorable Speaker, sir, just to uh, assure the Honorable Member who has raised this important uh, note, uh, we are now in the process of setting up these uh, processing units as said, and dry supari is going to be one of the items that the Government of Meghalaya, Department of Agriculture will be focusing on in the years to come. Yes, yes, Barbara. Uh, sir, according to the reply of the Honorable Minister in 30 DA, uh, whereas 46 processing units have been uh, set up on the, across 21 blocks in 10 districts. So may I know exactly the locations of these units? And if the list is long, may the Minister be you know, kind to place it on the table of the House. Honorable Speaker, sir, we have 46 such units. Not a very long list, but they, yes? Yes, we can do that. We can do that, sir. 